before we get started, here are the minimum requirements. A 64-bit system that will be used solely for FreeNAS. FreeNAS is not dual boot friendly. At least 8 gigabytes of RAM. At least one hard drive for the storage of files. One ethernet cord, there is no wireless support. A blank CD or USB drive to put the FreeNAS setup file on. One thumb drive that is at least 8 gigabytes to install FreeNAS on. An SSD or HDD is possible, but not recommended. The FreeNAS ISO for my website at freenas.org slash download. A separate computer or laptop with a web browser to access the graphic user interface and administer your FreeNAS system. Hop on the machine that you will be installing FreeNAS on. For this installation to work, you will need a fresh drive to install FreeNAS onto. Dual booting will not work with FreeNAS. A USB flash or thumb drive that is at least 8GB is highly recommended for this purpose. Insert your FreeNAS install disk or USB and restart your machine. Choose FreeNAS install at the loader. When the FreeNAS installation is booted up, go ahead and choose the install slash upgrade option. That would be the first option and hit enter on OK. It's going to ask which drive you would like to install it on. Install it on the drive that you will not be using for storage later on. In my case, I'm installing it on an 8GB virtual disk. The one you want will likely be the smallest on the list. Press the arrow keys to select the drive and press the space key to designate it as the drive you will be installing onto. Once it is installed, you cannot use this drive for anything other than the operating system itself. Hit OK, then Yes to proceed. Next, type in a password that will be used to log into FreeNAS. FreeNAS can be booted in either BIOS or UEFI mode. Depending on the hardware, you can choose BIOS or UEFI. I will be choosing BIOS. Once chosen, your installation will begin. Wait for a bit. All those commands popping up on the screen are perfectly normal. It should take a few minutes. Once that is done, you may choose OK to reboot. And be sure to remove the boot CD or boot disk. Make sure that your FreeNAS machine is connected to your switch or router with an ethernet cable. There is no wireless support. Now turn the machine back on and allow the operating system to load. When it is done loading, you will see on the screen console setup along with a list of options. At the bottom, an IP address will be listed. Get on a separate computer that is connected to the same network. Open your web browser and type in the address that is given to you from newly installed server's console. In my case, it is 10.248.1.161. Now the FreeNAS web user interface should load up. Use the password you created during the installation. The username should be root. Congratulations, you have just installed FreeNAS 11. Check out our other video tutorials to get started on configuring FreeNAS itself. This video was made possible by IX Systems, the sponsor and developer of the FreeNAS project. Many people have asked, how can they support the FreeNAS project? For those interested, we offer a wide range of storage products that leverage FreeNAS. For enterprise customers that need high availability and 24-7 support, we have TrueNAS. For business customers that need powerful and rock-solid FreeNAS storage, we offer FreeNAS Certified. For home and small office use, we offer the FreeNAS Mini. For more information, visit ixsystems.com storage.